Welcome back to the Cool Fear Channel. I'm your host, Just the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. The information on this channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. And today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new Jada Toys Hollywood Rides, the Batman 118th scale Batmobile. But first, if you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures, analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them if that's your sort of thing why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it go ahead and hit that bell notification icon so you stay notified when i do upload new content and if you do enjoy this video or any other videos that i put out please remember to give them a thumbs up it really helps the channel grow with all that out of the way guys once again we are going to be taking a look at the brand new jada toys hollywood rides 118 scale the batman Batmobile. Yes, we did just recently take a look at the smaller scale version of this Batmobile. Uh, I I have to be honest, guys. I couldn't wait for them to release this one, even though it's only been like a week and a half since I got the smaller version. Um, I have all the Jada Hollywood rides Batmobiles in this scale, and I have none of the smaller versions. And now I have one of the smaller versions, which it's kind of fucky with my OCD now, and I'm thinking I probably should pick up some of the smaller versions as well, uh, just to complete the line, in my opinion. But that's just me and my OCD. But I definitely had to pick this one up in this scale. Now, Jada did release a deluxe version for, I believe, $60, if I'm not mistaken. It was either $30 or $60 on their website, Jada Next Level, with lights and stuff and whatnot, which was really cool, don't get me wrong, and I missed out on it. Really bummed about it, but to be honest, when this thing's sitting on my shelf, it's not going to be all lit up and everything. And to be honest, also, it's going to be the only one that does it. So I'm kind of just like, I'm kind of happy that I just got this basic regular version for $20. Uh, I'm not big on the collection in terms of like being like a big, you know, die cast collector and everything. But I am a big Batman and Batmobile collector. So I thought this would be a great way to collect the Batmobiles in a relatively medium to decent size. Uh, so that's why I got you know into this line and i have to give it to jada for this scale and everything they do have some very very detailed batmobiles so congrats and shout out to jada for that and this one is no different so of course as with all the other batmobiles you do get the batman that goes with it it is just a typical slug die cast uh figure and yeah it is die cast as you can hear that is a metal figure, so yeah. Uh, but all in all, really cool just still for what it is with it just being a slug. Uh, and as I've stated before, still a more complete sculpt and bat suit than the McFarlane Toys offering because it still has that side pouch right there. The McFarlane Toys only comes with the straps, but no side pouch. I don't understand it, uh, but yeah. And on the inside of the cape, you do get all the stuff that Jada Toys has to put, the legalese and all that stuff. But all in all, yeah, it has a pretty decent likeness to the the Robert Pattinson bat suit, which we are only less than a week away from, guys. We are less than a week away from seeing the brand new Batman movie, and I could not be more excited, uh, which is honestly another reason why I was super excited to pick up these Batmobiles. So yeah, guys, with that being said, why don't we go ahead and move on into looking at the Batmobile itself, because in terms of accessories, that's it. That's all you get with the Batmobile is just that Batman slug. But like I said, for what it is, it's pretty cool for them to at least include a Batman figure, because growing up, when you get a Batmobile, it was usually just the Batmobile. So taking a look at this beauty right here, I absolutely love this Batmobile. Dare I say, probably my favorite Batmobile uh, iteration in terms of live action. I think nothing will ever top the Batman the Animated Series uh, interpretation or iteration of the Batmobile, but this one definitely takes the cake for me in terms of live action. I absolutely love old school muscle cars, and this is exactly what that is modeled after, and this thing is just a beauty. Much like the smaller version, the doors do open on both sides, and that is essentially it. It doesn't do very much else. Um, sometimes uh, some of these other offerings or Batmobiles do some stuff. It seems like the hood may possibly open, if I'm not mistaken, but let's see. I don't know. It seems like the hood is kind of like, I don't know if you guys can see it like moves. So I don't know if there's something that's supposed to pop up or something, because sometimes with these larger size Batmobiles, they'll have another feature. I don't know. It seems like something should pop up here. Uh, maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe this opens up right here. I don't know. I don't. I 
seems like this piece should open up to reveal, you know, the engine. Well, I mean, the engine's in the back, so I guess this would be the trunk. Um, but I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Just still trying to figure this out along with you guys. Maybe we'll find some secret compartment and secret opening, you know. Or maybe I'll just end up breaking my Batmobile. We'll find out. Uh, yeah, it feels like it's supposed to open and release, but I guess it doesn't. So, yeah, all this Batmobile does is basically open the side doors. But when we do open the side doors and take a nice closer look inside it, let's see if we can get the camera to focus. Hold on, guys. Try to self-focus it. Come on. Focus. 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 All right, I guess that's as good as it's going to get for right now. Uh, but yeah, inside, it's not that bad. Taking a look at the backside right there. It has some really good detailing and whatnot. Um, so yeah. All in all, a really cool Batmobile for this scale and especially this price, $20. That is a really good deal, especially in terms of toys nowadays. A die-cast metal Batmobile at 118th scale for 20 bucks. That's pretty damn good. I mean, granted, this should be about $15. Don't get me wrong. It should be around $15, but nowadays, I'm sure companies would try to charge you $30 for this, whereas Jade is trying to charge you $20, which is acceptable in my opinion so yeah i guess the last thing to say about this batmobile is that it does roll so you can roll it around and do some really cool fun stuff with it if that's your type of thing uh but yeah that being said guys join me every sunday morning for coffee and toys a weekly toy news toy talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great toy news reveals pre-orders and so much more and join me every wednesday on instagram at cool figures for coffee and toys live where i will speak to a new guest every week about toys toy collecting toy photography and so much more with that being said guys let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool pics that i took of this batmobile and even of this batman slug yes i was still able to get some really cool pics despite him not even moving uh so with that being said if you did enjoy this video please remember to give it a like share comment and subscribe and as always have a great fucking day Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those pics, you can find the full images over on Instagram at Cool Figures. And I do have a separate Instagram account for my more thought out, planned out, more edited pics called Epic Shots by Cool Figures. Check it out. If you like what you see, leave me a follow there as well. And if you guys want to see the unboxing of any figures I do reviews on for this channel, go ahead and check me out over on TikTok at Cool Figures. That's where I post all my unboxings. And join me every Sunday morning for Coffee and Toys, a weekly Toy News Toy Talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great toy news, reveals, pre-orders, and so much more. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really appreciate it. As always, I'm your host, Jess the Bat Magirol, a.k.a. The Buff Collector. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much to this channel sponsor, V-Rare Store. Check them out for all your Funko Pop, anime, Pokemon card, and toy print needs. And of course, use code COOLFIGURES at checkout for 10% off your order. V-Rare Store, check them out, guys.